Are you hungry? Because if so, you're in the right place. Today we're making paccheri con brancino, and brancino is sea bass. Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Gurgut. Today, Italian pasta, fish. This is a dish from, uh, I think it's called, the restaurant's called Langosteria in Milano. And as I mentioned, it's paccheri pasta, these big ones, with uh, nice sea bass. And the sauce is a bit like an aqua pazza, if you know what that is. Uh, if not, I did it on the channel before, and here's a link. It's, it's really nice, um, kind of tomatoey, fishy, yeah, just good sauce. A bit of heat there with chili too. But before we have a look at all these ingredients, do me the huge favor, if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get the notification every Tuesday when a new episode is online. But now let's have a look at the board. As you can see from the board, it's, it's quite a lot of ingredients today, but it's not difficult what we're doing. So don't get scared. We start with a wonderful sea bass. We have obviously our pakiri, the pasta. We have some um, flat leaf parsley, a bit of basil, one chili, some uh, chiedri, tome uh, tomato, lemon. Um, this chiedri has a lot of kind of the bitter white stuff and goes quite well with this dish. We're gonna uh, slice it really thin and it just goes on top at the end. We have a mix of uh, datterini or, or cherry tomatoes. We have some big capers, some nice olives, a bit of panko bread crumbs, some dried chilies, nice olive oil, and a bit of salt. And that's all we need for our dish. We're gonna start with the prep, but most of it will take place there. And what I'm not gonna show you is how I cook the pasta. Just follow the, the, the what do you call it? Um, well, the recipe on the package. In this case, it says cook them for 30 minutes. We'll probably cook them for 11, 11 and a half, try them and see that they're al dente, and then we will finish them off in the rest of the sauce. But first, let's, let's do the prep. With the tomatoes, I mean, this is just me. I just like to cut that part away, and then we just split them in half. And same with all of them. So just get that going, split them all in half, and we'll continue with the herbs after that. Well, the basil is easy. We're just keeping that whole, so you can put that with the tomatoes. Now for the parsley, it's actually only decoration for on top of the pasta. So we're just gonna pick off the leaves. Don't have to be too careful. You don't need very much for, for when you use the decoration. That's plenty. We just bundle it together. And we slice it up relatively thin. And that's all we need to do for our parsley. Next up, we'll uh, do the olives and the capers. And now, if you're a bit smarter than me, you buy olives without stones in them. But mine has stones, and we don't want those, so you have to kind of take away the stones. But let's say you were smarter than me and you bought olives without stones. You just take the olives, like they are there, and I'll show you a caper as well. And you just cut them up. Not too fine. Rough like that is perfect. You can also put them in with the tomatoes. The caper, we just split it twice. Like that. You can put that with the tomatoes as well. So do that. And the last vegetable we need to, well, we also need to do the chili. Um, and the uh, 
cherry lemon. So we'll do that next. Now for our chili, we just leave the seeds in. And just slice it up like this. And this we put separate because it goes in first afterwards with the oil. And for a chidri tomato, you need something sli uh, sharp to slice with. You can do it by hand as well, but um, it goes a bit quicker like this and it gets a bit thinner. Don't worry too much what it looks like. It's going to break up a bit because it's quite soft. Um, but just really thinly sliced and then we're going to use this on top as well. As a it's not only to decorate the dish, it gives the dish this hint of bitterness as well, which is nice. But I think that's enough for us. So the next thing we need to do is the fish. And here I could feel like if you go along the spine, there's a couple of bones left in there. So that's why I have the, our bone pliers here. Just try to kind of find it with your fingers. And you need to try to get it up, which is not always easy. There we have it. I hope you can see it. If I put it against my finger, you can see it. That was the first one. I think there's only two left in. Sometimes a bit hard. There we have it, you see? I hope you can see it, yeah. So that's it, there's no more bones left. All we need to do now is remove the skin. Get a bit to hold on. And then the knife flat. There we have it. Now we can clean it up a little bit, especially along the belly. Like that. And now we'll cut maybe two centimeter slices. I'm gonna leave that hole. And that's all the prep we need to do for the fish. And we've seen the vegetables already. So we'll move over to the stove. Now at the stove, the first thing we will do is do the breadcrumbs. And that's also to go on top afterwards. So we'll, I'll show you how to do the breadcrumbs. It's just breadcrumbs, the dried chilies and salt. After that, we'll start with the real sauce. Well, first we'll fry the fish, and in the same pan, to get that fish fried taste, we'll then prepare the sauce. And off camera, I will make pasta as well. That's just boiling pasta, basically. So I'll see you at the stove. So for breadcrumbs, we start with a bit of olive oil. Relatively generous. And depending on the heat you want, some pepperoncino. So when you see it start bubbling, that's when you can tell that the oil is getting up to the right temperature in this case. Now we're gonna go in with our panko breadcrumbs and they're gonna soak up a lot of the oil. So we just make sure that we mix. This and now we just want to get them or give them this golden brown color. It won't take long. In the meantime, in the meantime, we can give it a bit of a maybe two. Salt. You can see it's already starting to brown, so don't forget about it. Okay. 
so it will go black very quickly. Just a couple of seconds more. Yeah, we're happy with that. So now just get a kitchen towel out and we'll put this on the kitchen towel and next up is the fish. Now with the fish it's the same game, olive oil, quite generously, I'll let it get to temperature, the fish goes in. Now I salted it on the side I'm putting down already. And these are going to cook a bit differently because they're all different thicknesses. With salt on the other side as well. Now this one we can turn already. This one as well. And I have a separate plate. Um, but we'll just put them on and put them in the oven at 50 degrees to keep them warm while we make the sauce and the pasta. This one can take out already. Turn these. And afterwards, now we're going to make the sauce in the same oil and the same pan as this. And it's going to have that nice fish flavor. Yeah, they're all ready to be taken. Now we first go in with our chilies. Just want to release a bit of the spiciness of the chilies. And now we can go in with our rest. Remember that was tomatoes, capers, olives, our basil. And now I didn't have that on the board of the ingredients, but we also need a bit of water. Let's start with this. And after this, we're gonna add pasta water. So get your pasta on as well. Can already now add a good pinch of salt. And we're gonna supercharge this just because we can. We're gonna put the thinner pieces back in and make them part of the sauce. We're gonna break up and become part of it. It's gonna be even more amazing. Now we need some more water, so we're gonna use starchy pasta water, which will also hope hope will also help the sauce come together a bit. And give it a quick try. Mm. It's perfect. But just because we can, we'll add another pinch of salt to it. And the sauce itself might not look the most appetizing to a lot of people, but it's so packed with good flavors. Now we can actually take out the... Let's see if I can manage that without burning myself. Take out the basil. It's already thickening up a little bit. That's what we want. We'll actually add one more ladle of uh, starchy pasta water. This is such a beautiful sauce now. Our paquita is ready. Sure that it mixes nicely with everything. And we're ready to serve this baby up. But before we serve this dish up, as always, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about the episode. So do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. Thumbs up button. It's just down there. It takes you a second. 
but it's so valuable to me to get my content out there in the YouTube universe. But now let's serve this up. Make sure you get enough sauce. So the recipe we made today, or the quantities, is enough for two people. Let's see if we can get one spoon of the goody stuff as well. Like so. And our sea bass. Now for the breadcrumbs. Our chili breadcrumbs. And our flat leaf parsley. And last but not least, a little bit of our cheddar lemons. A lot of bit of nice bitterness. And again, just because we can, a little bit of black pepper. Now that's gonna look wonderful. Let's dig in. Ah, can't wait for this. Mm. Hot. But it's so good. Mm. I love the bitterness that the cheddar gives us. Salty, spicy. And the fish is beautiful. The breadcrumbs gives it a bit of a crunch. Also a little bit of heat. And the pakiri is just nice because you can... Get a lot of sauce. Excuse me. This is a really nice dish. Obviously, you can make it with any pasta you want. But I like the pakiri here because it, yeah, it can hold a lot of the sauce. And it's quite a quick dish. I mean, start to finish with prepping and cooking. I guess you can be done in half an hour. And obviously, if you make the breadcrumbs bunch, make a bit more. They keep for quite long. So you can just take them out when you need them. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I always answer them. And as always, if you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe, check the bell icon. All what's left for me to do is say goodbye. Take care. Bye-bye.